Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be replacing the fuel filter in this K1200 LT. This procedure is going to apply to all BMW K1200 LT models and might be able to be used in some other, uh, you know, flying brick motors, K1200 GT. Anyway, uh, follow along and uh, let's go. Step one, we'll go ahead and remove our crash bar guards here. So with a T25 on a little electric screwdriver or whatever you have at home, you can go ahead and loosen up all the bolts. There's gonna be one in the back right here. We can then take our mirror off. So to take our mirror off, we're just gonna kinda Give it a little whack like that. Comes right off. This guy has a zip tie. We can either just let this hang for now or uh, if it's not tied, you know, just remove it. And then underneath your wind deflector here, there's three T25 torques. So right there, those three right there, there and there. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing on the left side. We can go ahead and uh, pop our seat. You can then just follow right along and we're just going to work our way around and undo all the body panel screws for the right hand side. We can then go ahead and remove the left hand side body panel. We can then go ahead and unscrew the radio. So pretty simple. There's a screw down here, one right there, there, same on the other side. We can then kind of uh, lift it up around this, around the latch right there. And then un underneath it here, there's gonna be a lot of plugs. You got your radio antenna there and a uh, whole bunch of plugs, pretty simple. Um, this one right here, it's like a barrel style, it's a circle. You have to grab the outer, outside of the plug and twist it and it kind of unthreads. So there's those ones right there that we can kind of just set up to the side. Then we're gonna pull it back a little bit and up front, there's gonna be three more here. So you got that one right there, that right there, and this one right here. This little one right here, some bikes are gonna have that, others not, you're gonna have to trace that back and it just plugs in underneath the radio here, just like that. Then also, depending on how many options and stuff you have, um, there's going to be a fourth one kind of tucked back there. Get that one undone as well. So these three here, that small little wire, this one here, and then this one back here. So four big ones, one small one. We can then undo the seat. So we're going to have to unplug our electronic lock there, just kind of set that whole harness off to the side. And then there's two five millimeter Allens up here. So just with a five millimeter Allen. Undo that. Undo that. Down below here, there's gonna be one six millimeter Allen. 
Then we can go ahead and uh, unplug our heated seat here. And then on the right hand side, there's two six millimeter Allens. Now is a good time to siphon all the gas out of your gas tank. See, we just drain the whole tank there. Because uh, when you're changing your fuel filter, we're going to be undoing this cap here. We're going to take the gas tank and off and und undo this cap. And once we get that cap off, um, any fuel that's in there, we're probably going to end up spilling it everywhere. And if you have the means, it's much easier just to siphon your gas out, change your fuel filter, put the gas back in. We can unplug our fuel level sensor here and kind of tuck that up, up out of the way. Um, sometimes when you put your, take your gas tank off and put your gas tank back on, that plug's gonna fall down. So what I like to do is tuck it up over here. So when I put the tank back on, that plug's not gonna be buried under the tank. And then on the front right-hand side of the gas tank, we can unplug both of our EVAP lines here um, unplug those and then down by our fuel pump we're gonna unplug our fuel pump line our fuel pump plug and then both of our gas lines here and then with a six millimeter allen on the left side we can undo our one gas tank bolt on this side We will now go ahead and install our new fuel filter. So to install our new fuel filter, you have this big uh, plastic nut around the gas tank. And what I like to use is just a big channel lock designed for stuff like this. And uh, you can go ahead and just loosen this up. So when you're reassembling as well, something to note is uh, there's a an arrow stamped on this. I like, probably can't really see it on the camera. You can see it right there. Um, goes all the way through. There's an arrow stamped into the metal there, and that's gonna align with the arrow molded into the gas tank there. So, we'll get this undone. This is just gonna pop out, and while we have this out, now is a good time to uh, inspect this, uh, this piece right here. This looks like it's pretty new and looks in, like a really good condition, along with this one here. These are really, really, really prone to with today's fuel, it'll just burst. So these are good things to keep your eye on. Those both look good, so we're not gonna worry about that. And uh, yep, we're gonna put a new fuel filter in. So we're gonna undo these two clamps here and here, and our filter's gonna go right in. On the filter, there's a little arrow noting your flow, which direction the fuel's going. So it's getting sucked up this little sock here, going through the fuel pump right here, and uh, through the fuel filter traveling this way. So just like the arrow, arrow indicates. So then to get these little crimp connectors off, what I like to use is just a, a pick, shove it in there. You can kind of just work it open on both sides. Work it open like that on both sides. And then these, this will just kind of Pull out like that. Pull out just like that. Then we can go ahead and uh, reinstall our new fuel filter. So, like I talked about before, fuel sock is right there. Fuel flow is going this way. So we're gonna line that arrow up accordingly with some new clamps here. Push that through there. Push that through there. And then you get a clamp tool like this. You don't need to use these clamps. You can use little worm gear clamps, but I prefer to just do it how BMW intended. And it's as easy as that, new fuel pump, or sorry, new fuel filter installed. And then when, with a brand new fuel pump gasket and a little bit of grease on the threads there, we're gonna then 
reinstall our fuel pump. And we're gonna align that arrow right there. You should be able to see it at yours at home. I'm not sure if you're gonna see it on the camera, but align that arrow up with this arrow. So it's kind of going that way. And then uh, tighten that up just like that. And then with our big pliers, we'll just snug it up for the final, making sure to uh, keep those arrows aligned. We can then reinstall our gas tank, making sure that our fuel level sensor plug and the little plug on the radio are both tucked up out of the way and not going to get caught underneath the gas tank. Then come around and just, so we don't forget, plug in our fuel level sensor. We can then plug our fuel pump back in. So we'll plug uh, both of our gas line quick disconnects back on. You'll hear a nice positive snap right there. and then plug in our fuel pump right there. And then on the left side of the tank, we're gonna get that one bolt with the six millimeter head. Get that, we're not gonna tighten this up yet because we still have to line up the other side. We're just gonna get it started. So it's still loose right there. Then we can go ahead and put our seat on. So tuck that out of the way. Remember our two five mil, five millimeter head bolts go up there. We're gonna put this on top of the bracket. And then just make sure on the left side, your holes line up on that side. Then over here, both these holes line up. Then we can plug our uh, seat heating element back in. So we'll get them all just started and then we'll go around and tighten them all up. Then we can go ahead, work our way around and tighten up all those bolts. We can then reinstall our radio. So this is just gonna kind of loosely sit right there for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug in all of our connectors up here. All these connectors will only go in correctly one direction. So can't really mess this up. I mean, I'm sure you can, but every one of them should have a nice positive click. Hear that? and uh, they'll only go together correctly one direction. Then we can slide the radio underneath the dash piece. So we're just gonna slide it up under there. Make sure this square part right there falls over that latch. Make sure our uh, gas cap in here stays, uh, isn't all tangled up, the rubber part in the door right there. So we want the gasket kind of on the outside. And this will just drop down in kind of sit there all, sit there nice and you'll, you'll know when you have it right. Then we can go ahead and plug in all this over here. We can then put our stingray back on. So it's a screw there, screw there, there, there. And then there's two short ones that are gonna go on either side of the latch. They're really short with a square tip rather than a pointed one. We can then go ahead and reinstall the right and left hand side body panels.
Thank you so much for watching. Now, if this video helped you out in any way, please consider subscribing. And if you're feeling generous, please join my channel. Joining my channel costs less than a gallon of gas. And if you're a gold member, that's gonna get you 24 seven personalized assistance, no matter where you are. If you're broken down in the desert and you got cell phone reception, uh, shoot me an email, give me a call, shoot me a text, and I'll do my best to get parts shipped to you, walk you through something over the phone to hopefully get you back up on the road or to your nearest uh, motorcycle repair shop. But either way, have a safe ride.